Hello again. This will be the third and last part of this linear regression question. Part 6. Find the correlation coefficient r and the coefficient of determination r squared. That is a completely calculator activity. So again, let's go over to the calculator. I need to go to the stats part where I've got my numbers in the lists. I have to do the calc. I could have got this earlier when I did the linear regression. Make sure you're using list 1 and list 2. And after you've got the a and b, underneath that is r and r squared. So I just need to write those down. I'll do that to four places of decimals because that's the uh, sort of usual way of doing it. r equals um, 0 0.4 places. That'll be 0 0.9979. And r squared is 0.9958. Both very good numbers because they're both very close to 1, so it means th the model is a, a pretty good one. Now, part 7. Comment on the reliability of your answers to question 2 and question 3. Let's um, look at question 2 to start with. So we'll just look at question 2. I'll just go back and refresh my memory what was happening in part 2. In part 2 we were using the equation to find the length of the crocodile after 20 years and it was 316 centimeters. Okay. Let's look up at the data we had to start with. You will see that our original data only went as far as 10 years. Well, if we're going to do anything for 20 years we're well outside the data range and if we go outside the data range we were instantly going to be unreliable. So that's all we need to think about here. We will just say that we're outside the data range. Oops, all right. If you're outside the data range, that means uh, the word we like to use sometimes for that is extrapolation. and it is always unreliable. So we have an unreliable answer. Question 3. Let's have a look at that. Question 3. At what age would a crocodile be 120 centimeters long? And we got six and a half years roughly. Let's go up to there. 120 centimeters. Well, 120 would fit within our data range, so that, that would be no problem. And six and a half years would come somewhere in there as well. So that's also within the data range. So we've got no problem. We are definitely within the data range, so that's all pretty good. But to be reliable, we must have two things go on. Firstly, we must be within the data range, so we'll, we'll say that. within the data range, which is very nice, but also our model needs to be a good one. Now, in this case, it is, and we know that because our R squared value is very close to 1. So within the data range, question 3, and the model is good, and because R squared equals that, Therefore, our answer is reliable. And that's the end of all the questions.